Iran to send Navy fleet to Atlantic Ocean to boost security. Habibala Samyari, the Deputy Army Chief for Coordination Affairs, said on Wednesday that the Iranian Navy is capable of sending its fleet of warships to the Atlantic Ocean. Samyari, in an interview with Tasneem in the port city of Kinrik, said, Our fleet enjoys full readiness for presence in the Atlantic Ocean as we did it in the past years when the hegemonic powers drew a 12,000-mile line and said that Iran is not allowed to cross that line. We entered and sailed round Africa to enter the Atlantic Ocean to prove that we can. We are planning to have a similar presence to move along the Atlantic Ocean altitude to go forward in the free seas as much as the international maritime law permits he added. The Iranian Navy has been conducting anti-piracy patrols in the Gulf of Aden since November 2008 when Somali raiders hijacked the Iranian chartered cargo ship MV Delight off the coast of Yemen. According to Unsecurity Council resolutions, different countries can send their warships to the Gulf of Aden and coastal waters of Somalia against the pirates and even with prior notice to the Somali government enter the territorial waters of that country in pursuit of Somali pirates. The Gulf of Aden which links the Indian Ocean with the Suez Canal and the Mediterranean Sea is an important energy corridor, particularly because Persian Gulf oil is shipped to the west via the Suez Canal. As Iran already possesses mock-up aircraft carrier, will Iran build the second one? Keeping in mind that Iran shipyard industry is capable of producing such vessel. Iranian industry, mining and trade minister Saeed Iran is planning to build 200 cargo ships inside the country based on its maritime development program, Tasnam News Agency reported. In the country's maritime industry's development program, we have provisioned the construction of 200 cargo ships with an investment of 300 million euros, Reza Rahmani said. According to the official, aside from strengthening the country's maritime industries, construction of these vessels would create 60,000 direct job opportunities while providing 100,000 indirect jobs. The minister noted that designing, manufacturing, transporting and installing all kinds of offshore structures by domestic experts is an important achievement for Iran's maritime industry. Currently at Sadra shipyard, vessels with over 10,000 tons of capacity are being manufactured by Iranian experts and engineers, he announced. Mentioning the fact that shipbuilding is one of the industries that has been neglected in Iran, he added that in the past, over 90% of Iranian ships went to the Persian Gulf counties for services and repairs, but now more than 80% of such activities are being done inside the country. We have banned ship repairs abroad, he stressed. Back in June, Iranian technicians managed to repair a giant oil tanker inside the country for the first time in the history of Iran's shipping industry. According to the National Iranian Tanker Company NITC Office of Public Relations, the 320,000-ton supertanker called Dor was successfully dry docked in Bandar Abbas at Iran Shipbuilding and Offshore Industries Complex ISOICO, in late June. It was the first time that repair and maintenance services of a super oil vessel was assigned to a domestic repair yard. In the same month, Nasrallah Sardashti, t the managing director of NITC, had announced that renovation of the tanker fleet was a priority and the infrastructure was being prepared for building super tankers inside the country based on international standards. Source, Tehran Times.
در صحنه آبهای نیرگون خلیج فارس از آسمان که بنگری ناو هواپیمابری در صحنه رزمایش خودنمایی می کند ناو هواپیمابر به عنوان شاخص تا...